Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. I'm still waiting on a homeschool class situation right now, so I'm going to go ahead and film another quick video for you so we can talk this out because this is something that you parents need to hear. Normalizing insanity. That is the midst of everything right now. Have you noticed in the last couple of years the crazy things that you have seen introducing itself into our society, into the media, on social media, and so then you just become whatever to it? See, that's how things get introduced to us. That's how things work their way into society, and especially, oh, the dog's out. <laughs> That's how things get introduced to your children. You know, who really wants to sit around and eat bugs? Not me. Um, no, I have no interest in eating plant-based sausage. Stick it. No, I have no interest in drinking cockroach milk. So I saw a posting today in, from a article, and I'll actually link it down below, and if you Google it, a lot of people, it's so funny to me, don't don't get mad at me, don't get mad. But somebody's like, I can't find this. Where What are you talking about? And I'll go, it's down in the description. But I, I don't, okay, I'm gonna be a smarty pants so my Nana can come in and pop my mouth. I'm like, Google it. <laughs> I'm not talking about something that you can't Google and find. So a lot of times if I say something, 99.99% of the time, you can you can Google it and see that I'm not making this stuff up. It's it's everywhere else. That's how all of us YouTubers are seeing a lot of the same information and we repeat a lot of the same things on our videos is because it's in the mainstream and we are seeing things or we see articles or we see things. We go to the same trusted, well, as trusted as it gets, news sources online to get ideas. And like I said, no, um, <laughs> somebody said to me the other day, because I, I, how did I say it? I said that I, I, I do look at some news, I read articles, I see different things, but I don't absolutely take everything in as, you know, abs absolute. I will look at it and then I'll go, well, what do I think about this? And how does this apply to me? Or what have I seen real people I know say about it? Or da, 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 da. And somebody was just talking about how I was feeding my own biases. I said, no, part step back. Well, I won't say it completely. I'll be nice. I said, no, that's not feeding my bias. That is me rejecting the BS that's being fed to me every single day. I have a brain. You have a brain. And no, I have no interest in sucking down cockroach milk. So the article I'm going to put down below came from actually 2018. This floated across Facebook today. And I was like, and I'm sure I have seen this, but I try to ignore so much, <laughs> so much stupid stuff that I haven't seen this in a while, but since everyone's talking about plant-based and everyone's talking about us eating bugs because, you know, we basically have to get rid of our cows, our hogs, and our chickens and everything else on the planet, uh, the whole conversation of eating bugs and drinking cockroach milk has come up again. And I was like, no. Uh, and I'm telling you again, no. So, I mean, is that where you want to go? I mean, is, is that what you want to do? You want to eat plant-based everything? Do you think we're really designed for that? I don't believe so. And I know I'm going to get some crazy whacked out comment about all of these things on my channel because they, they, I, I attract those types. And, um, and so, you know, whatever, but that's not my interest. Should things be taken into moderation? Sure. Should things that uh, have been changed or manipulated food wise be, you know, understood and reconsidered? Yeah. Uh, should we try to be as natural as possible? Yeah, but I'm not going to tell you. I I'm sorry. I don't think drinking milk from a cockroach is natural. Okay? If you've ever had your first apartment and you turned on the lights and you watched about a hundred of those things scatter at any point in your life, I doubt you were on the floor trying to suck a teat of one. Catch my drift? So, no, that is not natural. But here's the thing. These things are floating through social media. These things are floating in through media in general. Your kids are seeing this crap every single day. It's normalizing them. I can sit and reject it. I'm pretty confident my children would too, but what about kids younger than them? See, over the years, we become normalized. These things become normal, not so weird, not so strange. No, the things that begin to become strange 
or bad or not good or weird or extreme are things like the Betsy Ross flag. So let's understand this today. So today it's a no-no if you fly the Betsy Ross flag, which means I can translate that into me. I, I guess I shouldn't be proud of being a daughter of the American Revolution either, right? Because that's bad. Uh, but, you know, if I want to flip a cockroach over and go to town and get my, uh, get my dairy on today, um, I guess that's a good thing. Do you see how these things are working? Do you see how this manipulation has, has been working? You know, for a long time, we just didn't go, oh, that's nonsense. Oh, or that's stupid. Or, oh, that's weird. Or, oh, that's gross. And frankly, a lot of these things are. I have no interest in going to Cracker Barrel and ordering a plate uh, of biscuits and gravy. What kind of gravy is that going to be anyway? Plant-based. I guess you just make it with the oil. That's possible, but oh, it's not as good. And then I'm going to have plant-based sausage. No, thank you. And notice, <laughs> you know, what's even more weird is I guess I can order a beer to go with that at the Cracker Barrel. I love Cracker Barrel, not slamming you, but you've gotten a little weird on me. So that is not what has been normal for a very long time. Now, am I afraid of change? Well, no, I'm not afraid necessarily of change. Here is the deal. If you want to go and flip the cockroach over and go crazy, I guess that's up to you. But don't tell me that I'm not going to be milking my cow or my goat. See, this is about being able to understand options and not pushing agendas and encouraging people to be able to think. So don't pull from one and try to push another when it is so absurd. I mean, how really, truly, honestly do we really think <laughs> it's going to be for people to want to drink cockroach milk or anything that can be synthetically produced to mimic cockroach milk? Can you even believe that we're having this conversation? We are. That's where we are today. I mean, things are happening right now that t even 20 or 30 years ago, we would have never dreamed of happening. I would have never, ever, ever dreamed that I would expect people to have the audacity to walk in on other people's property and to steal from their gardens. Has that happened in the past? Yes. Have we had extreme things happened in the past? Why, sure. Go back to the Civil War. Check it out. All kinds of bad things happened all over the South, particularly from one side to another, bushwhackers and the way that people were treated. This isn't new. We're not at a new rodeo, but the arena has changed. But when I see people literally willing to, uh, I believe it's Greg's Kitchen, is that right? He has a YouTube channel. He follows me. And from what I understand, I have not seen the video, but somebody did tell me. And I mean, I'm sure well, my next one turn even redder. Talked, uh, I believe uh, there was a discussion and him saying, so I'm, I'm assuming here, a friend of mine told me late last night that um, somebody came in and just basically ravaged his grandmother's garden, 80 year old grandmother, walked in on the property, took all of her fruits, uh, oh well, fruits, yeah, vegetables, didn't disrupt the plants, didn't tear down the vines, didn't do any of those things, but stripped her garden down. That's my friend. That, my friend, is not a deer. Has this happened in the past? Sure. But is it, ex was it something that you just expected? No. In fact, if you lived in my area, and if you were around the people that I know and knew, and we knew that you were doing that to an 80-year-old grandma, you better get lost. That is not acceptable behavior. And I don't think that it's necessarily acceptable now, but see, we sort of shrug our shoulders at it, right? Sh at it, at, at the, we shrug our shoulders at the situation because see, it's becoming normalized that people can act out, that people can be violent, that people can do certain things while others cannot, while the goods of this country are bad, yet sucking on a cockroach for milk is normal. Do you see how the manipulation has been working? Now you're gonna sit here and say, yep, I know it, yep. 
And I'm going to say to you, you've known this the whole time? I'd say not. I'd say we shrugged it off. And now the question is, is how late to the game are we to stop the nonsense, to save our children? That needs to be the question. So, no, no thanks. I'll pass on the buggies and I'm gonna pass on the cockroach milk. I can tell you last night at dark as I was putting up my chickens and I was hacking my brains out and James said, what's wrong with you? I said, I inhaled a bug, got it caught right there. No, I didn't like it. it didn't taste that good, wasn't any fun. If that's your name to the game, go do it. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep with my dairy and uh, real sausage. Like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for being here. Let's keep it together, folks. We'll see you on the next video.